All right, warriors, welcome back. <clears throat> Look. What drives a narcissist insane? You know, if you go on Quora, platforms like that where anyone can respond, do you think narcissists are going to admit what drives them insane? Do you think anyone, as an adversary of yours, who looks down on you, who expects you to dumb down and chase, do you think they're going to put on there? Because does that make sense to you? Think about it. Let, let's use your logical. Count five Mississippis. If you feel like you're having a brain fart of your own, like like... You're trying to exercise diplomacy this way. Linda, Linda, li listen, Linda, Linda. Because you feel, you feel, because you're not breathing, using logical, you're f allowing feelings to get in the way of logic. Keeping you from a lifestyle change. Keeping you from elevating to the position that's meant for you. Five seconds can get you there. Five seconds gets you to a point where you're thinking logically. What drives a narcissist insane? The simple fact that you start thinking for your damn self. Narcissists can't believe that you know how to walk, chew bubblegum, and breathe at the same time without them. Warriors. Losing power and control is the ultimate narcissistic injury that, that any sociopath, psychopath, or narcissist could receive. A borderline? Oh, they come unhinged. You hear me? Because, see, they do catch the feels, unlike the others, lacking empathy. The borderline catches the feels. The problem is they catch the feels a thousand times more intense than you do of normal traditional mindset see they're overcorrected in either direction here or yonder they're wired for hypersensitivity and so their fight or flight instinct always comes in an explosive way truly insane it's like an outer body experience for many of them it scares the shit out of them because many can't truly remember what the fuck they done they're hearing the story of how it was witnessed warriors not being the center of attention will also drive a narcissist insane or sociopath, psychopath, borderline. Look, think about this. Not being the center of attention by someone that you love or love and reciprocate, right? Alienating attention and affection does the same thing. But when all you thirst for is the law of attraction, the booty call, the booty benefits, See, when that shit starts to fade away, loss of control and power is self-evident. They're going to do everything they can for damage control. And for many, when they know they've lost control, they start to mitigate with a smear campaign. You see, they need to destroy your reputation before they themselves are exposed. But what's frightening the most is, worst is, is for narcissists, it doesn't matter if you expose them. If you back off, they expose themselves quicker. Because no one can blow up a bridge more better bestest than a raging narcissist who is no longer the center of attention. Do you understand? Now check this out too. 
as you're gaining control and understanding the dots are connecting, they're starting to make more sense. You're going to find it much easier when others insult your intelligence to accept it for what it is. Because you're going to you're going to catch a feel of not playing along no more. Uh, you're going to soon realize that it's exhausting to play the narcissist game, believing that they're superior than everyone else. And so you begin to tell them directly what you know. You know what they're up to. You ain't going to play these silly ass games. You don't tolerate that shit. Get the fuck away from me. Back off. Sh screams volumes. You see, I go shock and awe the opposite way. When you're among people rubbing elbows among your own intellectual level, there does come a moment where you do get a smooth operator. Someone who mimics intelligence and romance. But to those of us with experience, we can smell through it a mile away. And a simple... Gone. Is enough. Frightens the shit out of narcissists. I don't give a shit what size and what kind of experience they might think they have. They understand they're dealing with somebody who don't put up with shit. Sometimes, warriors, you need to call out their actions. It's not always about playing defense. Every now again, you got to put some points on the board. You weren't here to run around like a fucking scared rabbit. You see, with intelligence, there will always be threats. Intelligence will always be a threat to ignorance. Since the dawn of time, that warning has been written on stone tablet, on emerald tablet. It's by creation. It's going to be a constant battle, a yo-yo. And understand, with narcissists, other people's happiness brings them such misery and rage unlike no other. When they get bored and run out of targets, that's who they pick on. So many of you sharing your joys of the weekend, of your vacations. One day you'll learn. Keep it to yourself. It's a vacation, personal time. Keep it that way. You'll know who the narcissists are and your secret haters. You know how to call them fuckers out? Well, warriors, they take a side and pretend to give a damn about you. But were they there when you needed them most? Or do they believe a lie that's so grossly over-exaggerated that folks that don't even know you would soon realize that's just so out of character. That the one speaking the lie is understood to be the liar. Because the life you live reveals the one lying. Look, it's not that you are blameless. But when 90% of you is pretty badass, the other 10%, shit, that's just your perfect imperfections. Imperfections maybe that wouldn't be tolerated from any other piece of shit. But coming from you, it's like, fuck that. That ain't nothing. You see, you demonstrate genuine happiness, authenticity. Hell, you, know, you even know how to spell it and live it. Big difference. They want to talk about working things out without working themselves out. You're no one's therapist. It's called self-esteem for a fucking reason. You're supposed to do it yourself. Warriors, when you realize that the world does not owe you understanding, nor has it, it took you this damn long, a blow 
that cripple you to realize people don't give a shit about you. You better start giving a shit about yourself. And when you call me personally, I remind you of that every day that I can. I remind you to be self-motivating. You can't depend on others. Warriors, narcissists are going to be driven to madness once they know that you're capable of making decisions and succeed financially, spiritually, physically, to a point that you aren't going to be held back from anything that you so desire. And they can't stand anyone being better than them. Narcissists cannot stand anyone being above them, especially if you grew up together, if you're family, if you work together, if you in business together, or if you were a lifetime partner with them by marriage or situationship that kind of went a little too long. It matters not. The personality dis disorder or the struggle with them is rooted in the low self-esteem. You can't fix that. That's a do-it-yourself project. They need someone to absorb that for them, take it off their plate, so they can do overs again. Their greatest fear is you realizing that you deserve someone better than that. Because love shouldn't take that kind of fucking effort. So by you distinguishing what love isn't, through this learning experience, this tuition you paid, realizing this aha moment wasn't free, was it? You're going to take this bitch by the horns, and you're going to make more better, bestest, badass decisions for you, and those whose lives fall under the, your stewardship. You see, because you have a stewardship for our future. Warriors understand with narcissists you can waste your time trying to reason or trying to understand their behavior. That's not what's important. Look, narcissists will be pissed off just hearing about you getting a new car. So it, it matters not trying to understand the immature mindset of narcissism, the selfishness, the jealousy. It, just know that in their world, it's done to extremes as if always in panic. Fear, scarcity, anxiety. And they've lived in this environment for so damn long that any sense of normalcy, calm, and peace is a threat. And they got you used to it. That's the trauma. As your coach, I'm here to bitch slap you into another awareness. Now you know better. You know where you're at. Shake the dirt off your ass and own this shit. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna hold you to a standard. I got a hell of a memory. And for some of y'all, I've called back at random on my dime as a follow-up. Surprise. You see, every now and again, we need to be shook up. Just reminded, it's what lawyers do. Remind each other that you have to be self-motivated. No one can do it like you. Narcissists are going to be driven crazy 
because no matter what they throw at you, you continue to grow. You're a fucking alchemist. <laughs> Without even trying. And the shit that comes out your mouth in predicting their playbook is so detailed that it drives them to insanity. How do you know what you know? So while well, you're living in your truth, would drive narcissists insane because it exposes all the lies that they told on you. Stay out of their way. They'll start to expose themselves as their lies start running in together. I just need you to get out the way because when the karma hits them, they're going to need a savior. All of a sudden, they're going to have a come to Jesus moment. And it's going to sound so sincere. That you're going to see the rage in their eyes as they see the look on your face. Of someone who uses their heart less properly now get your asses out there and own it now wipe your eyes come on up look at me and nobody said this shit was gonna be easy and knowing what you know now and can't take back ever ever is a scary proposition but it's a fact now Ain't no shit. Look, either learn how to use it or understand full well when you're being used with it. A hard head makes for a very soft ass. Make sense? <laughs> now, get out there and fucking own it. There's no reason for you to ever suffer like that again. No sir, no sir, no sir. It's never goodbye, warriors. Always until next time. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're gonna skydive today. We're gonna skydive. <laughs> Leap of it. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. <laughs> we're going to be falling we're at 100, fall. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know your TI will have your All back. Right. What All right. made you want to skydive? What what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways to my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go
to create a song. I 